Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and I am here today, new living quarters. I am here today with another wonderful sketchbox. If this is the first time you've ever seen one of my videos where I open this thing called a sketchbox. Sketchbox is a monthly subscription. It's kind of like this huge, awesome art magazine, but the thing is, is it's a box and it's full of art supplies. It's like me, but it's not because I know it's a cockatoo. <laughs> so this is what it looks like inside. What Sketchbox does is they send me two little postcards. One postcard is about a featured artist. So I can look on the back of here and I can read all about this featured artist and I can go ahead, check out this person's work. And also, I get a postcard telling me about all the amazing supplies that Sketchbox has included in this month's box. So not only can I read up on how to use these certain supplies, but I can also check out some prices. They include the prices on each supply so that's really helpful because hey anything could happen and I already see one thing that I like so chances are I'm gonna go and buy more so this is one thing that I really 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 love it is koi watercolor brush pins if you guys have been following me for a long time then you know how much I love the brand koi watercolor it is my overall top favorite brand and these are watercolor brush pins. It looks like I have a primary package, so I've got yellow, brown, green, red, blue, and black. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so they just look like brush pins. No big deal, just a couple of brush pins. Pretty awesome. I'm very excited. I, I can honestly say I've never worked with brush pins, like watercolor brush pins before, so I'm so excited. Ooh! And then I've got a set of Pigma pens and these are really interesting because one of them is a 1.0 millimeter, but the other two are chisel tips. So almost like calligraphy in a way, like calligraphy pens. Woo, yay! Ah, I love Stablio pens. I love Stablio pens. I won't write with any other kind of pens except Stablio pens. <gasps> and these are so thick, I've got a purple and a green and look at those and I've got this fantastic looking zig brush zig so it's a zig brush it's a twin sided one so I've got a nice brush tip on one side and then I've got a nice little small finer tip on the other side Ta-da! and it's such a it's a pretty mint green Ooh. so I'm just not gonna show off these beautiful new supplies that Sketchbox has sent to me let's go ahead and jump into a time-lapse so I can show you how I would use these art supplies let's go alrighty so let's take a look at these awesome supplies so I can tell you right now that the koi coloring brush set that they sent to me Oh my goodness, I am so in love with it. It was a dream to work with. It's like the same vibrant watercolors that I work with all the time, it, but it's like markers and it's easy for me to go in into line and everything. You're going to see that in a bit. So when I was looking at these colors, I saw the primary brush set, but the one, the couple of colors that were a side of the primary colors were of course the brown and the black. So I understand the brown, I mean the green too as well, but when I saw this, I just, I thought of a fox and then eventually this is going to start to turn out to look like Vulpix, the Pokemon, <laughs> but I, I thought of a fox because the the brown was almost like a sepia brown, so it was kind of reddish. So I thought of a fox, and then I thought, well, I mean, I see parrot colors too. So what I did was I went ahead and for the hair on the fox's forehead and for his tail, I went ahead and gave him, gave him parrot colors. So he's a whole new Pokemon. 
So for the Stablio markers, I just, I didn't really want to go too crazy because he was already looking just fine and I didn't want to add any crazy colors to him. So I did get a chance to use a little bit of the pink inside of his ears. And what was really interesting is that it was acting exactly like the koi pins, the brush pins. Like it was, as soon as you put water onto it, it was easy to push around and blend and it was a nice, thick, beautiful, vibrant color. So I didn't get to use them as much just because I was more focused on the Koi brush set. I don't know. I picked a, fav a favorite in this one. <laughs> and so, um, but I did use the green, the aqua green on his eyes. And for the, when I was thinking about the Zig Art Graphic Twin brush pen, whatever it is, <laughs> it's both. <laughs> uh, I just wanted, I need, I loved that beautiful mint green. So I went ahead and I just put it around him as a nice, pretty outline. And it just, it looked cool because it seemed like it, he was almost floating with a green mist floating around him. So I really like that. I don't know, maybe that's his special powers, but I, I thought my favorite, oh my gosh, I picked a favorite. It was definitely the Koi coloring brush pen set. I mean, I think I'm gonna go and check out, I know they sell them at Hobby Lobby. So I know I'm probably most likely gonna go to Hobby Lobby and see if I can grab more pens, but they were pretty easy to blend with and make new colors with. So I don't, I'm just extremely excited about this and Sketchbox did amazing for this box. I love Sketchbox and I'm always so excited to see Sketchbox show up at my doorstep every single month. So you could get your own subscription to Sketchbox as well. So you, I'm not the only one having all the fun, you're having the fun too. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Sketchbox's website right here. And I'm also gonna go ahead and put a link down below to their website so you can go and check out the amazing boxes that Sketchbox has to offer. I think they're even like doing a couple of grab boxes right now. So I would go and check out the grab boxes. Thank you Sketchbox once again for sending me another fantastic wonderful box of funness <laughs> I'm running out of adjectives <laughs> but I love sketchbox thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful day <laughs>